just going to show you guys how to do salt and pepper pork belly. It's really simple and it's something that you know you could make at a dinner party to impress. There's not a lot of work involved. So first here I've got some pork belly and I'm going to cut some really thin slices. You need a good sharp knife for this. When I'm cutting pork belly, I always have the rind side down because it's always so much easier to get a thin slice. I mean, the knife I'm using is really a cheap knife, but I just sharpened it beforehand. So I've only got about 250 grams here of pork belly because it's so nice that I thought that I'd better make less. So this recipe is enough to feed two people quite well. I mean, you can, if you like, you could serve it with rice, but I tend to just serve it on its own with a, a chilli oil dip. So here I've got some whole peppercorns and some pink Himalayan salt that I'm just going to bash with my mortar and pestle. It's so much nicer if you use freshly cracked pepper and grinded salt. So next, I've, here I've just got a bit of peanut oil. I'm just going to add the pork to that so that way I don't have to oil the grill. Then we add our salt and pepper, about a tablespoon or as much as you like really. Give it a good coat. I've got my grill heating up over here. So my grill is nice and hot now. I'm going to cook these thin slices of pork. It's really such a quick, easy dish and this tastes awesome. If you don't have a grill like this at home, you can always just cook this in a, in a hot fry pan. It'll still do as good of a job. So you want to let it fry really well on the first side, so that then we only have to turn it over once. So give it a minute or two until it's nice and golden. This is ready to turn now. So you just want to cook the pork until it's golden on both sides. It doesn't need long. So you know when it's popping that it's pretty much ready. I'm going to turn the heat off and just drain it on a bit of paper towel. So a lot of oil has come out of that. I'm just going to serve this up now. Now this is probably more of an appetizer or a snack really because I'm not, I'm not doing a lot. And it's really simple and delicious. So I like to serve my salt and pepper pork with a little bit of chilli peppercorn oil. You don't need a lot. And then I just sprinkle with some freshly chopped spring onion and toasted sesame seeds. So that's it really. It's a new way to enjoy pork belly instead of just roasting it. So I'm just going to have a little taste now. I just love this oil dip. Mmm. Delicious.